Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Echoes of Mana video. And here we are yet again. We're gonna be freshly reviewing this freshly picked review here of uh, these units. So, so we have two five four stars here, uh, two new ones. Wiz and Beauty Charlotte, who her special technique is recovering HP 20% and deals magic damage. So she's a magic damage dealer, even though it looks like she's doing physical damage. And just does uh, magic damage. And also hip hip away will do an int break and also a spirit break. That's actually pretty good. On my first, I, my first reading, I didn't actually see the spirit break. So that actually is a little bit better. <laughs> and then she heals um, on, on skill usage. So she heals a little bit on skill usage. I wish it was empty instead, but whatever. That wise, pretty good int actually. So I don't, I don't want to give my squirrel until I test them out, guys. So stay tuned for me to do the trial run. But I think the hip hip way is actually pretty decent now that it has an int and spirit break. I think that's pretty decent. But I will say that she doesn't really have anything else going for her. And the heal on, on the special technique is only for herself, which is a little selfish. Considering that her previous her three star version is a healer for everybody, pretty much. So Winding My Way Home Wanderer. He's an axe damage dealer, so we kinda already know how that's gonna go, but uh, uh and the and also he has a a niche thing where he can daze opponents, but it's just never gonna work in bosses. I'm I'm very familiar with this by now where status effects things only affect us but they'll never affect bosses so don't expect the uh days to do anything useful against bosses which is the only thing that actually matters in this game so far mobs are easily dealt with usually without needing something like this so and then he just has a generic attack and he also has a spirit buff and a con buff usual uh buff for these damage dealers he also has a uh, single target damage 10% um, continuous, which is actually pretty good. So he actually has a 10, he has a 10% damage increase at all times with that uh, passive unlocked with this uh, wide wide shock wave. That's actually pretty good. And if you're able to go this far down, he has a 15% light damage increase permanently. And the light gem is not new, but it is very good. Top tier, I would say for your secondary damage dealer to, to put this on and then use the mega gauge the mega spirit magic thing i think it's pretty good i have it so yeah i'd like to get it but i'm not going to be pulling on this banner anyways let's get into the trial run all right well let's see how this goes so let's try the ability first just a one hit uh okay Oh, this isn't actually an attack at least. So it's not just like a buff or like a debuff. You actually are using something with it. And it is a few hits. Okay, now try the ability. Theatrix. And a very small AoE. Okay. Uh her this move here, the hip hip away saves her from being extremely mediocre. This is literally the only reason why you would want to pull for her. Uh, nothing else you would want to pull. Honestly, I think she's like a 7.5 at best. The intent, the intent, uh, spirit break is very useful, and it's also a good, decent damage because it has five hits. But everything else about her is just selfish and just not very good. So seven point five for uh, the Charlotte here, and Wanderer. Let's check him out. He's an axe damage dealer, so I already have <laughs> uh, don't have very good I, things for him. Probably that's really slow. Axe damage dealers are really slow. And this tech special technique, which deals 10% more damage if you're able to do it. Okay, that's... He is not very good. Uh, I don't think he's I don't think he's better than, than uh, Bl Lady Black Pearl, for example. So I think I'm going to go like a 7 at best. There's almost nothing special about him besides uh, the, 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 da the damage increase if you get more of him. So why would you want to pull more of him when he's just an axe damage dealer? That's just not that great. Axe damage, sorry about the allergy thing again. Anyways, uh, 
I, don't, I just think Axiom Dealers are best when used on like an, as an AI, you let the AI control them and then you build up the combo and then they are able to do this. Uh, do more damage based on the hit count. Uh, should be doing pretty good damage. That's the only thing I can think of for X users because otherwise they're just not very good. They're pretty mediocre. So I'm going to go like a 7 at best because at least he can use like as the finisher or something. But other than that, he has n literally nothing else going on for him besides a little bit more damage here and there uh, for his passives. And Charlotte, like I said, 7.5. The memory gem, I'll get 9 because it's 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 a really amazing, it's, a, it's an amazing chance gem. And I'm sure I could get more of it. Anyways, that's going to re read the review, guys. Do you guys agree with it? Do you guys disagree with it? Did I miss something? I don't think so. I usually look over these units several times, several times over, and I usually leave the trial battles for my first impression type of thing so I can get, because I can read over it. You can read over it on paper, but then when you look at it on, in the game itself, it's probably going to be a lot different, and we just showed that here because... Uh, Wanderer's kit on paper looks pretty interesting, but in, in, in practice, just whatever. And Charlotte, literally the only reason why you would not pull for her is because of that uh, 30 MP cost ability, the hip hip away thing. So, appreciate you guys watching. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you want to pull, I just wouldn't. <laughs> I just wouldn't pull, honestly, even for the half health. I'm not even going to do it this time. Alright, see you in the next video. Peace.